and other parts of the country are also suffering from the dramatic power of Storm Dennis. First hit was the Republic of Ireland, where it's caused floods in Longford. The winds are so powerful they force the famous Devil's Chimney waterfall on the coast to flow upwards rather than down to the sea. And Cornwall has been the first to feel the effects in Britain. Powerful waves crashing into the coastline there and the seafront at Foy has already been inundated. Good evening. A second major storm in less than a week is battering Britain. Storm Dennis has brought heavy rain and gale force winds with severe weather warnings in place for much of the UK. In West Yorkshire, the army has been mobilised to help shore up flood defences, with forecasters saying a month's worth of rain could fall in some places. There's also been severe travel disruption. With more details, here's Helena Wilkinson. Amongst the first evidence of damage by Storm Dennis was here in South Wales. This is the village of Cumbach, where people's homes are already under serious threat. In Calderdale and Ilkley in West Yorkshire, the army has arrived. Areas that were hit badly by last weekend's storm, where a month's rain fell in just 12 hours. They fear the same may happen again. The army have been busy putting up barriers this afternoon to strengthen the flood defences. The first thing they're going to be providing is reassurance. Reassurance to people that actually we're doing everything we can to keep them safe during Storm Dennis. The second thing is that we're actually, with their engineering experience, to basically check our river walls and reinforce them where there are weaknesses. At Leatherhead in Surrey, they're also erecting barriers. Some of the worst affected parts of Britain could see up to 140 millimetres of rainfall and gusts of up to 80 miles an hour. Uh, we're ex expecting significant impacts across the country um, and, um, and uh, we fear that the impacts are going to be at least as bad as last weekend and in some cases they're going to be worse. For many, the half-term getaway has ended up with a lesson in travel disruption. EasyJet have cancelled around 350 flights over the weekend, almost 100 from here at Gatwick. At Heathrow, 60 flights were grounded, most of them British Airways. By late this afternoon, nearly 30 flood warnings were in place across England, with eight weather warnings covering most of the UK, meaning flooding could cause a danger to life. Back in West Yorkshire, the Army and the Environment Agency continue to do what they can to protect communities and reassure residents. Helena Wilkinson, BBC News. And for the latest information on Storm Dennis in your area, just go to your local BBC online pages or tune in to BBC Local Radio. Well, as you may have been hearing, Storm Dennis is causing disruption across much of the country. More than 200 flights have been cancelled across London's airports as a precautionary measure. In the capital, there are currently 33 flood alerts in place, but the worst is yet to come. Now let's take a look at one of our other main stories this hour. Here in the UK, forecasters are warning that a month's rain could fall over just a few hours. Hundreds of flights have been cancelled and the army has been deployed to shore up flood defences in some of the worst affected areas. Ireland has issued countrywide severe weather warnings. Forecasters say winds are expected to gust at up to 100 kilometres an hour, which is 74 miles an hour. And it's a similar story in Iceland as well, where a number of communities are already reporting power cuts as the winds bring down cables. Hello there. Storm Dennis continues to batter Britain. Now, we've had some very windy weather today. The top gust of 91 miles an hour recorded at Aberdarren on the Clin Peninsula in Wales, but it has been windy everywhere. We've also had lots of heavy rain. Now, that rain has started to cause some flooding problems as well. There are in excess of 70 flood warnings currently in force, and those flood warnings continue to rise hour by hour, so more flooding is likely. Added on top of that, we've got more heavy rain to come, with the Met Office Amber Weather Warning remaining in force till Sunday afternoon across North and South England and Wales as well. This is Storm Dennis then. The big problem is this weather front that stretches for a couple of thousand miles out into the Atlantic. And along this weather front, we're going to get pulses of very heavy rain working in. The other issue is the winds are blowing parallel to the front, and that means the front's not going to move very far very fast. And what that means is overnight tonight, the rain, if anything, is going to get heavier across Wales, southwest England, 
and also the West Midlands. And these areas, well, we've already got some rivers already in flood, so we are likely to see things turn very nasty for a time here, I think, overnight and on into Sunday morning with a significant risk of uh, some disruption here. Now, it does stay mild overnight for England and Wales. There will be more rain in northern England, but even as the rain eases at times, we've still got all that water running down the river catchments. Further north, a chillier start to the day with blustery showers. Now, for Sunday, that rain could be even slower to clear through across southern England and East Anglia, so bear that in mind. The winds get very strong through English Channel coast. Gusts could reach around 60, maybe 70 miles an hour here. Inland, gusts of around 50, perhaps 60 miles an hour, so very blustery conditions. Further showers blowing in across the north and west, and given the strength of the winds, it's going to feel cold here. Now, as we head through Sunday evening and Sunday night. If anything, the winds are going to get even stronger across northern areas of the UK, but particularly so in Scotland, where across northern areas we could get gusts of 70 or even 80 miles an hour. So there's a risk of some transport disruption for Scotland as we edge on into Monday morning.